In this video, you will learn how to calculate mean, standard deviation, and standard error in Microsoft Excel. Currently, you can see here I have the data about the vitamin D retention during different storage days. I have conducted this experiment three times and the results are displayed in the form of trial 1, trial 2, and trial 3. Using these three set of values, I have calculated mean, standard deviation, as well as standard errors. So let's start this tutorial. If this video is helpful for you, then please like this video and subscribe our channel for more informative videos. In a separate sheet, I have already entered the data to save time. Firstly, we will calculate the mean of this data. Simply select the cell where you want to display the result. For example, I want to display the result in this cell. I will click on it. After selecting, put equal sign and write average. You can see here average appeared here. I will double click on it. After that, select the range of cell. I am interested to calculate the mean of these three values. I will select this one and by dragging, I will select remaining two values. Now you can see here we have successfully selected these three values. We will close the bracket. Now you can see here we have completed the formula. Put equal sign, write average and after that select the range of cell. When you have completed this task, simply press enter. Now you can see here we have successfully calculated the mean values. Now you don't need to apply this formula on individual rows. Simply select this one. Place your cursor at the corner. When plus sign appear, drag it down for remaining rows. Now you can see here Excel has automatically calculated the mean for remaining rows. You don't need to apply this formula on individual rows. Now our second task is to calculate the standard deviation. Standard deviation is the dispersion of the value from mean values. To calculate standard deviation, we will repeat similar steps. Firstly, select the cell where you want to display the result. I want to display the result of standard deviation in this cell. Put equal sign. After that, write STDEV. And you can see here STDEV option appeared here. Double click on it. Now it will ask the range of cells. I am interested to calculate the standard deviation of these three cells. I will select this data. After selecting this data, close the bracket. Now we have completed the formula, put equal sign, write STDEV and select the range of cell. Now we have completed the formula, simply press enter and you have successfully calculated the standard deviation of this data. Now if you are interested to calculate the standard deviation of remaining rows, select this one, place your cursor at the corner and drag it down for remaining rows to calculate the standard deviation for remaining rows. Now you can see here Excel has successfully calculated the standard deviation of remaining rows and small rectangular sign appeared here. It means that you have applied the formula on this cell. Now our task is to calculate standard error. Excel do not contain any formula which calculate the standard error. Standard error is simply the standard deviation divided by the square root of number of values. So we can enter that formula to calculate standard error in Microsoft Excel. For example, I am interested to calculate the standard error of these three values. Simply select this cell, put equal sign, write standard deviation. ST, DEV, select this one, standard deviation of these three values, select these three values, close the bracket, standard deviation divided by square root SQRT, Square root of number of values. Uh, if you have large data, you can simply write count. Select this one. 
and select the range of values you can simply write 3 if you have small number of cells and if you have large number of cells you can use this formula you can write count close this bracket and again close this bracket now we have successfully completed this formula as we have already discussed the standard error is the standard deviation divided by square root of number of values standard deviation of data you can see here we have first selected the standard deviation then range of the cells divided by square root of number of values you can see here if you have large number of cells then you cannot count them you can simply write count and select the range of cell excel will automatically calculate the range of cell your number of cells excel will automatically calculate the number of values you can also write the number of values instead of count and range of cell after doing that press enter you can see here standard error is calculated as we already discussed that the standard error is the standard deviation divided by square root of values if you have standard deviation values simply select cell put equal sign we have already calculated standard deviation we will select this one divided by square root in this case we have three number of values one two three we will just write three close this bracket and press enter sign now you can see here you have successfully calculated this formula if you are interested to calculate the standard error for remaining rows simply select this one and place your cursor at the corner when plus sign appear drag it down for remaining rows now you can see here you have successfully calculated the standard error for remaining rows so by doing so you can easily calculate this mean standard deviation as well as standard error values in microsoft excel secondly if you are interested to calculate the standard error of this value select this one when plus sign appear drag it down for remaining rows and excel will automatically calculate the standard error for remaining rows so by doing so you can easily calculate this value that's the end of this video thanks for watching this video goodbye